Yo, Elliot, three weeks ago, I asked you a question about quitting weed and how to deal with my friend who still smokes. Your answer helped me a lot and I haven't smoked for about a month now. I'm 23 years old and in two weeks, I will have surgery on my right shoulder. The doctor told me it's gonna take six months until I can train again. The problem is I'm really addicted to working out. I've always lifted weights or trained MMA. Sport is my life. I'm afraid that I'll fall back on my bad habits of smoking weed when I'm not able to train for six months. Do you have any advice for me to make those six months productive? I have lots of energy, which I normally put into working out. I really don't want to smoke weed again because of boredom. Any advice would be helpful. So you're having uh, surgery on your right shoulder, but that doesn't eliminate your other arm and your legs, bro. I want you to think in terms of what can I do with what I've got? right? You don't have to stop. Now, there's good reason why you might want to take a break, right? You, you, you go on, you have this surgery, you want to allow that shoulder to repair. And at the same time, I've discovered through the injuries I've had in my life, that injury season gives me an opportunity to recapture what I've lost in my incessant narcissistic killer attitude about the things I want to do. Ah, I'm, I get obsessed. But when I get injured, it's almost like God is saying, calm down, buddy. Take a seat, relax a little bit. I have other things for you to do. And then, and I remember when I first tore my, when I tore my left bicep back in 2010, not but a few months later, I started becoming YouTube famous. And I had been making YouTube videos for four years before that. But I knew when I tore my bicep, I knew what God was telling me. I sensed it right away. He was saying, hey, stupid, why are you putting all your eggs in this basket? I got more things for you. So I stopped, I, I tore my bicep, I let it heal. I still did strongman training, but not to the intensity that I was doing it before. And then God put me in front of YouTube, started, started blowing up my YouTube channel. I was like, wow, I couldn't have done that had I still been obsessed with being who I was last year. And so in a way, uh, injury is, oh, Robert Blyce puts it this way. Every wound is a womb. Does that make sense? Every wound is a, every wound, every injury is like a cocoon. It's an opportunity for you to go in, slow down and, and be rebirthed. And at 23 years old, you're, you're, this is, this is going to be a, a theme for you coming up in the next two to three years is who am I going to be next? Who am I becoming? What is God asking of me? What is my path in life? And it's going to start making itself clear. Between now and 27, your life is going to be turned upside down and you're going to, you're going to need to be receptive to what God is calling you to. It's not going to be easy, but when you are injured, in a way, God is saying, hey, buddy, be a little more receptive. Stop being so aggressive. God can't talk to us when we're so aggressive. I, and even you said, I'm addicted to working out and lifting weights and MMA. I get it, bro, because I've been there. I still, I'm so stupid. I still do it sometimes. That's how I got, ended up getting sick a couple months, a couple weeks ago, a month ago. So this is an opportunity for you to slow down and reevaluate your life. Now, at the same time, you can still use your other arm and your legs, right? What I would do, right, just because this is where I am in my life right now, I would start doing the knees over toes workouts, which are all foot, knee, ankle, hip intensive. I will focus on strengthening everything from my waist down. You said you're an MMA. I think that would, that would benefit you greatly. So really do the best that you can without the, uh, without having to do bench press or pull up or the things that ultimately caused your, uh, your, injury, your injury to happen in the first place. So you use it as a time to recoup, recover, re-strategize your life, be open to a new path and new ways, or even if it's just a new way of doing things. And at the same time, exercise your new way of doing things by finding a way to work around your injury and continue to grow strong over the course of the six, next six months. And Emilio has a really good point. He says six months is a blip. And he's right. Six months is going to go by really fast. Just don't let yourself backslide like you say. Don't start smoking weed again or feeling depressed about yourself or trying to entertain yourself with sinful habits. Stay focused and uh, pivot, right? What is that? What do they say in the military? They say, uh, you know, you got to like adapt, adapt or, or, or uh, yeah, adapt and change directions. I forget how it is. Overcome and adapt, adapt and overcome, adapt and overcome, soldier. You got to adapt and overcome. And that's, that in and of itself is a skill that's worth learning, dude.
Done. Yo, it's your bro, Elliot. I hope you enjoyed that video. If you did, you ought to know that it was a clip from one of my most recent King Transformation classes with my students, where among other things, we get together about four or five hours a week and we speak on things as it relates to becoming kings in our lives and fitness, business, and with women. If that sounds like you and you want to join a like-minded group of men who are growing stronger every day in every way in this degenerate age, then it's real simple. Just follow me on Instagram and then DM me the word king, K-I-N-G, and then me and my team will get back to the details to see if you qualify. I really hope to see you at the next meeting. Done.